going on? Davis the Camera Guy here back again with another tutorial. Hope you guys are doing good. And today we're going to be talking about color grading. I've been getting requests on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Davis the Camera Guy about how I color grade uh, my music videos, how I color grade my YouTube videos. And today I just want to give you a quick tutorial, a quick tutorial on how I actually get this done and my process and my breakdown. Um, today we're going to be using two color grading tools in Final Cut Pro, this is Final Cut Pro X. We're gonna be using Color Finale Pro. This is a great program that I like to use, um, especially for my LUTs, my custom LUTs that I make that are all available in my Selfie store. And we're gonna be using the new coloring wheel system in Final Cut Pro X. If you didn't know, Final Cut uh, did a big update towards the color correction, and it really helps me out in the process and those are basically you know what we're going to be using today in today's video and tutorial as you can see i have a clip um from a recent music video i did shot this in 120 fps because who doesn't like slow motion and we're gonna be using one of my luts this is the six city mood lut um and we're gonna be basically changing it into uh, how I would want it look to get the feel for this video. First, you're gonna make an adjustment layer because adjustments la adjustment layers are life. So, go to custom adjustment layer. And you just pull it over your clip. Now we're gonna add Color Finale Pro, and we're gonna go to Open Controls, and we're gonna go to the little box, the little cube box. That is your LUT utility. And we're gonna hit show gallery. When you hit show gallery, you get a full look of how um, your LUTs would actually come out. And you can increase the size to actually see, you know, what it is you're gonna be getting. And today, like I said, we're gonna be using the Six City Mood Light. So, as you can see, it already gives it, let me close this right now. As you can see, it already gives it a vibe but this isn't the vibe. It's kind of too cold, you know, but it's it's not exactly what I want, but it's what I want at the same time. So here is where we go to the coloring, and we're still using the adjustment layer right now, and we are gonna just raise the midtones a bit, because he's kind of dark, so you wanna see his face. Raise the highlights. Get a little punch in the highlights and then you want to bring your temperature so that it's more warm just bring that down a bit you also want to raise the saturation a bit so you can emphasize on the reds And we're gonna change the tint just a smidge. And that's good. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go to your clip. If you skim through the clip, you can see it's actually already coming back to look completely different than what it initially was. So we're gonna go to the clip and we're gonna go to the color correction tab again. <clears throat> and we're just gonna wanna change the temperature on this. Bring this up a bit more. You can see now inside his jacket, it's way more um, tan. His skin is way more brown. It brings out um, way more of the skin tones in this color. And with this, you can adjust a little more in the image. To get what you're looking for exactly. So if we play this back, It's smooth, it's clean, it's easy. You know, LUTs make it so much easier to get these um, colors going, um, just to give you like a vibe, you know. And like I said, all of my LUTs that I make, they are available in my self I store. I'm gonna link that above and down below in the description. And these are available to pick up. You can pick up um, this LUT 
the Stick City Mood Lut from my Mood Pack um, that's available now. And if I just wanted to, let's say, switch this around, um, we could always go back to Color Finale. You also have your color wheels in color finale. You have your color palette. So if I want to change the greens, change the hue of the greens to make them darker or more warm, I can go into hues, I can go into luminosity, all on the luminosity, make it brighter or darker, make them to saturation. If I want to play with the reds, I can change around the reds. But I, I don't want to change around the red. If anything, I'll just make the red a little deeper. So it's it's a it's a great awesome tool, Color Finale, and the new coloring system in Final Cut Pro. Um, you also have your HSL curves. You have your curves, which are master curve, red curve, green curve. You have so many options to choose um, when trying to get your footage to look the way you want it to look possible. So let's just do the same thing with another clip. Let's see. Um, let's use a beach clip. Right there, right there. So as you can see, you get a completely different vibe from this beach clip. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go inside, you know, the um, color correction tab in Final Cut Pro. We're going to pull down the highlights, bring back some of that detail. We're going to pull down some of the mid-tones. I really don't even have to change the temperature on this. I would just move my tint just a little bit so you can take out some of the greens and this is on a beach this isn't even this isn't even um this isn't even on like a mood setting this this is on beach so as you can see like the LUTs that I make they, they can be used for quite a number of different um, applications and yeah this is basically how I do my color grading in Final Cut Pro. I wanted to share that with you guys. Quick video today. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until then, I'm out of here.